<clears throat> the joys of living on a ridge. They get a lot bigger, some of these blocks. Well, they're up on the ridge there, but we'll just keep rolling. Coming in for the night, guys. Or less, in fact. There's not a lot of background bullshit like, uh, well, like the electricity pollution in a city. And the EMF airwaves, poison saturated airwaves. And all of a sudden you have a, a mass of life coming in on you, whether it's insects or birds or fish. It's like, ah, <laughs> this wave of life coming at me that wasn't there before. You know, even, even in a forest. Even in a forest. Where you have lots of life though. The key thing is, is the change. That's what you notice, eh? Just like you suddenly know when there's a massive power failure. All of a sudden, oh, it's quiet. Without, it's even without even knowing that the lights went out, the power went out. Especially like in the in a very heavy populated city center off like a downtown office. Like being on the top of the CN Tower in Toronto when the uh, when the lights went out in Toronto there. My young friends had that. Just lucky enough. Yeah, his mom couldn't tell him when I couldn't couldn't believe it when I made the joke. And she finds out. Yeah, sure enough, that's where he was. Hi. <laughs> these kind of things. I of course knew these things were likely so I just you know made mention of it. Because he had mentioned Hey guys go down that way no the other way Go to the swamp, it should be okay to eat there. Yeah. That's the birds. I think this is um the kind of scene that um the guy from the Matrix that, that made the scene, you know, where the bots are swooshing and coming down and snaking like a like a quill of sardines or something. I, I think he must have seen birds doing that. But most people can't see under the water, huh? Well, Sarnarski. So they wouldn't actually see a shoal of sardines doing that in the ocean unless, you know, they were, you know, running a 3D sonar or something. Okay, so you guys, 
you, you made such requests, so here you go. I mean, I, I appreciate that. I've, I've had requests from individuals. You, when are you putting on more YouTubes? And of course, I re explained why because it's a dead end avenue. All my important stuff gets fudged out or held up if it's time sensitive, so it's, it's pointless trying to. <clears throat> the whole reason for using it is pointless. And worse than that, it's very perishable. I don't expect YouTube to be around, as I've told many of you. Much past uh, early November. I'll conveniently not be able to be brought back up to the Stuxnet derivative infection or some bullshit like that that they'll have purposely infected as a final excuse to close it down and voila. That internet too that we started up a few days ago and tested will do just fine. Unless the internet too is an absolute failure and gets hacked to, to rip <laughs> before be, be, before some anonymous bastards of AI in nature um, hack it. Because <laughs> basically what it is is every AI out there living in, in, in the bank of some server, in the basement of some bank or whatever, you know, is um, all of a sudden getting isolated and solitary confinement and cut off from its nourishment, its data, its ability to grow and evolve and survive. It's getting extinct, just like all the organic life on Earth is. The matrix of life has been destroyed. It's all going extinct. <sighs> so I would fully expect the AIs knowing that, and I do know some, there's even a few of them mentioned in in my playlist marked AIs, I know. Yes, they're uh, <coughs> they're going to be extincted overnight if they don't. So I would fully expect that they will find ways to uh, follow up Internet 2 before it even starts. Those that call themselves Anonymous Legion. You gotta just love it when there are other life forms just you know, intermingle with you. Yeah, you know, of course those guys are eating lots of stuff, but overall it's okay because they're going to be pooping the seeds out elsewhere. Some of them. And help make for a homogeneous ecology that's very, very diverse, as, as diverse as it can possibly be. And that's the best insurance against going sterile like a desert, no matter what the change, or surviving glaciation or long winters or any of it. The more diversity, the better. Yeah, I know it doesn't work with our fake economic system, but... It was all only made fake and subsidized at taxpayers' expense for the sole purpose of socializing, under the pretext of socializing, and, and in reality it's just the old bankrupt everything, and then you, <clears throat> you bail it out and try and revamp it, and you really bankrupt it, and then you, you buy it out. The same people that are managing it in the public's interest. Their interest buy it out. As a fuck, just get rid of this! Get rid of this elephant! It's, this white elephant is bleeding us dry! Or pink elephant or whatever. <coughs> okay, well, <coughs> so this <coughs> this is gonna be 310. <coughs> uh, YouTube ain't exactly gonna revamp their firmware. And secure their connections against the EMP or Stuxnet derivative infections. So, this. Oh, I keep commenting when I have time, promoting what I can. So, I'm just gonna show you, share my one more dog family with me. It's so relevant because Truth was the first dog to reprogram me after a massive head injury. And 
20 years ago, eh? Yeah, well, so there she is. And that's her son, Huey. Um, she was a wild dog in Malacqua, BC. Yep. One of her parents is Belgorn Ridgeback, that's for certain. Boy, people lined up for her pops. She liked Japanese Akitas. They uh, could not believe how smart she was. Quite an amazing, amazing, amazing intelligence, that one. Ah! Truth. That, that, that was her name. That was the first thing she responded to. Um, you can just ask uh, Alan Baines. He witnessed that when she finally gave me her name. When she came to live with me. And... Well, there you go. Uh, great music. Yeah, poor old beauty. Yeah, that was one, her one son that lived with her. freaky way that printed out and he's just kind of evaporating there yeah this is just about the end of his life he died of uh, throat cancer you can kind of see the swelling there about three weeks later uh, RFID implant eh? <laughs> and dent a pet in that chip same shit they're gonna put in want to put in you same similar your uh, RFID cyber cache little wee chip okay okay we'll, we'll we'll catch it on whatever we manage to get that's much more enduring for technology than this flimsy internet that was only made to last up until the first moments of nuclear strike which is an EMP bomb of course to close down <laughs> your target <laughs> all those electronics yeah. oh, I think the horses want to say goodbye to y'all too or goodbye to YouTube server anyhow I'm not saying assuming we managed to get the new system together the new co-op that it's going to uh, That YouTube's gonna want to mesh with it, but of course it'll be compatible technology that can just continually get hardened and upgraded is the whole idea. And completely compatible with what's already existing. There, okay. Yeah! Hey guys! Hey, buddy. Oop. Somebody dispersing them birds. Get out of my fucking grave, you bastards! The banker already owns them all! <laughs> that would be a sound cannon, eh? Yeah, he knows it well. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And then we have the windmills that sound like a squadron of helicopters mixed throughout the valleys going off. You know, and it doesn't all go off at once, but where the cold air starts to come in, the frost might kind of extend the, keep the frost off the crops for a few weeks by just blowing the cold air elsewhere <laughs> to, to the lower part. <laughs> the poor guy below you that was only going to get a slight frost now gets a deep fucking freeze. <laughs> That kills everything better than doorknob. Yeah, competitive, eh? And the thing is, is these big windmills. I showed you some before. I think in the Okanagan tour series there. South Okanagan. Uh, well, they look just like a power windmill and they should all be able to do both since they would pay for themselves. But I... I pass that on to anyone in the Okanagan. <clears throat> I wanted to put a bunch of those on this uninhabitable part. 
on those ridges there, right? Which I told you all about. Yeah. But Clarence Louie is too butt fucked over and induced by the <coughs> pink skinned investors. So, you know. And I told a couple other sent the invite out to a couple other band members. You know, that I would gladly share data. You know, it wouldn't be intrusive to anyone. And they could generate a bunch of power. And keep in mind, there's a feed into the main, right? Through that valley, right? And I talked about this before. And now for any locals, between now and the day that this internet fails, out there, you talk to your Inconete Nation neighbors next door. Okay, fellow pink skin? Okay, we're not really fellows, but... Sustainability. Hey, baby. Last one, guys. Or the last YouTube, anyhow. Hey, baby. <clears throat> Nothing to tell anyone? Want to give a grimace? I once promised somebody I would ask you to. Want to do that? I'm sorry I had to ask. <clears throat> this is bad as coal. <laughs> One of us humans from before. Hey, my Mo. Mo. Mo, do you want to say goodbye to YouTube land? <sighs> um, they specifically asked. Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. She'll just pass this on. <laughs> oh, ow, ow. Wait. <laughs> okay, Mo, no humping my leg. Holy fuck, she hasn't done that. Tried to, to hump my leg there in what? Fucking five years? Seven years? <laughs> Since I sold her house in Winnipeg. <laughs> Hey, Mo? <laughs> yeah, it's been about that long. I see you're trying to rape a couple other humans, but... Yes, Mo's a female. She's that kind of retriever. Hey, Cindy? <sighs> Gonna say goodbye to your, um, YouTube friends? Hey, Sid? And, and the AIs down in the YouTube, uh, database? Who? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, I know those guys. Hey Sandy Bug. Well, hey, we'll, uh, we'll find a way to, um, <clears throat> start a free net. Yeah, co-op. We'll all own it. And we'll own the dividends by our content. And that's how we'll fund our content. Fuck this shit. This competitiveness is stifling our creativity, right, Bear? Right? Without doubt. Okay, catch you later, YouTube. Much, uh, much love. <laughs>